to another exciting video from Gobbler Ridge Farms. And today, I am going to be planting several different varieties of garlic that I got from the good folks at Keen Garlic. Now, I've never planted garlic before. This will be my first try. And I just learned I should have planted it back in October for my particular zone. But you can do a spring planting, and so I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that as an experiment. And so I called the folks at Keen, uh, Keen Garlic. And Laura, I can't get, I don't remember the lady's name. Uh, but in any event, she talked to me for over an hour one Friday night, telling me all kinds of stuff about garlic, telling me about some fertilizer and different things that they use. And uh, so I ordered uh, three different varieties of garlic from her. I have a, a pound of elephant garlic. I got a pound of early Italian. And I, I got a bag of Enchilium red soft neck. I probably butchered the pronunciation on that. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, try to plant uh, a pound of each uh, as a spring planting to see what it will do here on my particular farm in my particular zone, which is zone 8B, uh, basically in, in middle Georgia. And as we got to talking and she was kind of telling me about the uh, this fertilizer that they also sell, uh, she also said I could use some, some holly tone. And I'm a I'm primarily a chestnut orchardist, and I use holly tone on my on my chestnuts. I said, "Well, I have some of that." And so, as we uh, got to talking, she said, "I tell you what, why don't I send you a, a, a bag?" And with everything that I review, I buy everything I, I I put out there on my on my channel. But she did send me this to try, so I, I did not buy this. She sent it to me. And uh, so I told her, I said, well, yeah, if you send it to me, I said, by the way, I have a YouTube channel. So she's, and I said, I'll make you a video on it because I'm curious as well to see if the, you know, holly tone that you can get from a regular uh, big box store uh, would work as well as this, or if uh, what they, they sell on their website may help me grow uh, better garlic. And if, it, and if it does, then it's well worth the investment. Because this stuff has uh, feather meal, compost, microhume, intrepid trio. It's uh, OMRI listed IPM-0832, whatever that is. Uh, sulfate of potash, organic potassium plus, uh, and uh, SuperCal SO4 uh, on here. And so it has a breakdown, so it... It, it looks like some uh, pretty good stuff. They grow their things organically, so I'm gonna give this a try. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try to balance out the size of these cloves so that everything is equal. You probably saw in the intro and you can see behind me, the area that I'm planting is gonna get the same basic amount of, of sunlight. All the dirt looks exactly the same. It all looks real good. Uh, uh, all three rows of this, I had some corn planted last year and so I'm going to uh, go back over it one more time, and I'm going to plow uh, some holly tone into one end of the row, and I'm going to uh, plant this fertilizer that I got from uh, Keen Garlic uh, in the other half. And so I'm going to kind of stagger it too. Uh, on the first row, I'll do the you know uh, the, the holly tone up front and the Keen in the back, and then I'm going to alternate Keen in the front. So trying to make it as fair and as, as scientific as I can, just just being a regular old farmer guy <laughs> so uh, it may or may not be exactly scientific but stick with me for another couple of months uh, trust me I'll, I'll edit out the late spring and uh, and we'll and we'll see uh, which one of these works out the best uh, and, and go from there uh, now I really want to plant this earlier. It's February 25th. Even though I'm in short sleeve shirts, we had a heat, uh, warm front come through. It's supposed to cool back off. But I've had, uh, out of the last 14 days, it's rained 12 of them. It's rained six of the last uh, uh, seven weekends. And so I, I just couldn't get, the ground was just, just too wet. Uh, so I've got some rain coming tomorrow. So it's getting 
going to get dark. I may get this planted after dark. So uh, I'm not going to bore you with me sticking it in the in the ground and, and all that. I can come back and cover that later. Uh, but I'm trying to beat the rain and get it in as early in the spring as I as I possibly can because uh, I'm a little later than I want to be. But you know you can't can't control the rain. So let's uh, start off this experiment by getting some garlic and some fertilizer in the ground, and we'll go from there and find out what happens together. All right. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention it, but uh, ever since I received the garlic a couple of weeks ago, I have kept it in my refrigerator in this brown paper sack. Uh, I didn't want to pull the garlic out of the sack on camera and rattle it in your ears uh, so I can keep my production quality at very high standards. Uh, so anyway, this I just now pulled this out of the refrigerator before, before I came down to plant it. Uh, so uh, they also uh, had it cold stratified before they sent it to me. So. Uh, hopefully it's had enough chill hours on there that it may feel like it got planted last fall. So I uh, just wanted to point that out before I get rolling here. All right, now I'm going to start planting. Okay, we went down and harvested the elephant garlic yesterday, and on this side of the basket is the section fertilized with holly tone, and over here is the fertilizer that I got uh, from Keen Garlic. And although they're fairly close in size, uh, this is two of the larger uh, uh, bulbs or, that I got from the holly tone side. And if you take a look at a couple of the ones from the Keen garlic side, I, I could definitely see that the Keen garlic is a little bit bigger. And you know, and if I just look at the overall, you know, size of these, and mind you, this is this was all spring planted. Uh, I went for a period of time without a sufficient amount of rain. I got tied up on six projects at work and didn't get everything weeded as good as I could. So, uh, and it's a spring plant of garlic, so it's not going to be huge. But I believe I could definitely see a difference that the king garlic side is a little bit bigger than the holly tone. So, there you have it, folks. The best I could do with uh, what I had to work with, but that's the result. All right, I'll see all you turkeys on the next video.